We can display social networks as graphs. On these graphs, many processes are active. Indeed, people influence one another through their social interactions. For example, on whether they eat meat or are vegetarians. It turns out that the network structure is crucial in how such influence spreads through the network. For example, on the left and on the right, we see two distinct networks. We investigate what the effect is of an external event. For example, when mad cow disease strikes, people are worried about the possible bad effects of eating meat. They influence one another by talking about it. These discussions may cause them to become vegetarian. We see that this happens much more frequently on the right side than on the left, even though the number of connections are roughly the same. The reason lies in the difference in network structure. The network on the right has many vertices of very high degrees, or hubs, and they play a crucial role in how populations reach consensus. Informally, when such a hub becomes vegetarian, he or she influences many people around him or her.